Hey, what's up, y'all? Jeremy Anderson here. Check this out. I want to talk to you real briefly about bullying. I get it, and I know what you're probably thinking. Oh, my God, another video about bullying. That's right. Another video about bullying. Like, it happens so much. It happens so often, and we got to put a stop to it. And guess what? You got the power. Even if you've been a bully in the past, you got the power to say, you know what? I don't want to be that person no more. I don't want to be someone that hurts people. I don't want to be someone that takes away from people. I don't want to make, be, be someone that picks on people that are smaller than me. I want to have a better character. I don't want to be the one that sets the house on fire. I want to be the one to put the fire out. I don't want to be the one that causes crime and bad things to happen. I want to be the one that protects our community. Right? You don't want to be, you don't want to be the perpetrator. You know what I'm saying? You want to be the one that comes and brings aid, right? And so you have a choice. Now you might be watching this and say, I've never bullied anybody, but I've been a bully myself. Well, I want to challenge you to use your power. Use your power. When I say use your power, I mean use your voice. When you see something, you gotta speak up. Right? Because you give them your power when you stay silent. You give them your power when you don't say anything. You give them your power when you don't hold them responsible. And I know you might be feeling like, well, what if they say something? Are they going to say, I'm just scared or I'm afraid? That's fine. You know what I'm saying? But we really see that they are scared or that they are afraid if they're doing the things that they're doing. I need you to take back your power and use your voice. If you see something, say something. I need you to use your influence. Some of you watching this video, you got crazy influence within your school. There's so much personality, so much style, so much influence that you've been gifted with. You can use that. I want to see a, a day. I want to see an environment. I want to see a school when, when bullying takes place as opposed to other kids laughing at the one that was bullied. A bunch of people sit back and say, hey, that's not cool. Don't ever do that. That's not funny. That's not nice. And now the bully feels like, wow, oh, that's not cool no more. No, 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 I want us to create a type of culture that where everybody, regardless of how they speak, regardless of what they look like, regardless of what their sexual orientation or their religious beliefs, like regardless of where they come from, the color of their skin, the texture of their hair, regardless of what they have going on. We show them love, we show them affection. Like that's the fabric of America. That's what makes America great. When we are able to accept and love and affirm and pour into, you know what I'm saying, and bring out the best and see the best in people. That's what makes us powerful. And you all, I'm so passionate about this because you all are our future leaders. You all are the future city councilmen and congressmen and senators and teachers and engineers and principals and counselors and police officers. You all are the future. And if our country is going to have a fighting chance and take back our place in the moral world, then we've got to be willing to stand up and say the bullying stops on our watch. We've got to be willing to say, if I see something, I'm going to say something. We've got to be willing to be the type of young men and women that says, you know what, I'm going to do the best that I can do within my ability to advocate and bring relief and aid to those who are struggling and suffering. I want to see a school. I want to see a culture where bullying doesn't exist. I want to see a place where it's lame to be a bully. I want to see a school where it's corny to be bullying. I want to see an environment where people are like, why would you do that? What's wrong with you? Like, I want to see that type of response as opposed to a bunch of people laughing because they want to fit in with the cool crowd. Here's the reality. I speak at a lot of jails. I go to a lot of detention centers with people that's locked up. And when I sit with them, you know what they tell me? It started when I was in school. I was bullying people, I was picking on people. And when I look up and see where they are today, behind bars, it breaks my heart. You all don't have to experience that. You all don't have to be that way. You all can make a change now for the better. So again, if you're watching this and you know you've been a bully in the past, you ain't gotta be a bully no more. You know now that your actions, your behavior, it hurts people. You know now that what you do has the power to hurt somebody's feelings. They might laugh or act like it doesn't really affect them, but when they go home at night, when they look in the mirror, their feelings are hurt. They feel a certain type of way. Now they're questioning their worth of their doubt. The suicide rate is so high in our country. People are already trying to barely hang on, and then they have to come to school and deal with some of this hatred. No, 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 no. You can change. And those of you that's like, no, I'm not a bully, but I have been bullied and I've seen people be a bullied, then now you have an opportunity to do something about it. Now you can use your voice. Now you can use your influence. Now you can use your heart and you can treat other people how you want them to treat you. I believe that's what goes to show the test and character of people today. And so we can ask ourselves, how would I want someone to treat me? Let me make sure I give that same respect, that same love, that same treatment to the next person. And I believe that when you do that, that's gonna take your, level, your life to one level 
in the next level, in the next level, and we're gonna look up and you're gonna be doing some absolutely amazing things. I know it's possible. Cause I lived a life where I struggled and I failed and I had bad attitude and bad behavior and bad grades. And I got to a point where I said, you know what? I don't wanna fail no more. I wanna be successful. I wanna thrive. I wanna travel the world. I wanna drive a nice car. I wanna be educated. I wanna get degrees. I wanna write books. I wanna be successful. It's inside you. It's already inside you. But it's time for you to show the world how great you can be.